everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the Final Cut. We're still covering films from the Madison Horror Film Festival. It's review a palooza, if you will. Today we're going to take a look at She Devils a Go Go. Now it's written and directed by Darren McDonald, who tells us the story of five friends who go out on a Halloween night looking for some fun, and they come across a new strip club called She Devils a Go Go, where all the girls are dressed like devils. Well, when they go to take some of these She Devils home, the guys find they get more than they bargained for, and find out the cost costumes may not just be costumes at all. Uh, folks, I did like She Devils a Go-Go for its concept. Uh, you, you know, the idea that we've seen this kind of before with the whole strip club is cursed type of thing, but they take a nice little twist to it and uh, with the taking the girls home and that, and I did like that part of it. I did like the concept. I also liked the idea that they did make it kind of like a comic book type film uh, with the panels and that and even some of the uh, art direction. I really liked the bits of it uh, where they did kind of these comic book type page uh, still shots every so often during the action and I really liked that and I'm seeing that a trend more in independent horror so those elements I did really like things though that did seem to fall a little short one was the script uh, you know it seemed like a lot of the dialogue was improvised and in doing so there was a lot of repetition in the dialogue and at first I thought okay maybe it was just me and then it was a lot more noticeable okay and now they were going kind of for the kind they were going for the comedy horror aspect of it and they do get comedy bits out of it. it is it is very laughable in some of the moments that they have but I think with just a little bit better editing and maybe tightening of the script it could have been a little bit more solid than what they had in there and now also you got the five uh, principal characters and they're all douchebags in fact that's the way they're credited as douchebags so you really don't care about any of them you want to see them all die which can sometimes work with a film and sometimes not with a horror film uh, usually with a horror film you maybe want one character as an anchor at least for most of the film that the audience can kind of get attached to and want to root for but you don't want to root for any of these guys okay and that's kind of the, what the filmmaker was going for you he want you want to see mean nasty things happen to these guys and uh, you know he does accomplish that but for me yeah, I kind of like to have at least one anchor one character that you kind of care for but in this case your five characters you really they're, they are douchebags, and you can't wait to see what evil things happen to them. Now, the actresses in here do a very good job for the roles they're in. I like their performances a bit better than the um, five principal actors, though those five principal actors do really sell the douchebag angle. Uh, you know, She Devils the Go-Go is just kind of a middle-of-the-road fair for independent horror. It's more kind of what you ex you, you see in examples of, of the lower-budget horror, uh, where it could have been a tighter film uh, with a better script. It, it is what it is, folks. Uh, I wasn't too impressed by it, nor was I completely bored by it, but I could see a lot of spots for improvement in the editing and the script. And had they done that, I think they would have had a nice tighter film uh, that really uh, would could come become a cult classic, but instead it be, just becomes your standard fare. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep the 